Hey, welcome to Tools on Tech, and today I want to talk about the LogSeq change log for 0.10.9. Let's get started. And the first one is an enhancement called New Block Placeholder. I went through the code, I had a quick look, look in here, going through like the setup, but I'm not sure. So I'm asking in the Discord if I get the answer, I'll just chuck it in between here. So expect a quick recording to fill this up. Okay, so now that I know what this was about, so the New Block Placeholder is mostly about keyboard navigation. Now, I didn't have the old version installed but what it means is that like for example here I'm like in a sub block on that set and I do something like GH and I go back to my inbox normally I had to click somewhere to start typing but now I can use my arrow keys at something quick and being able to use more keyboard in LogSeq is always a huge win for me. Then we have the enhancement restore app window at current workspace. This is mostly limited to Mac devices. So what happened if you would close LogSeq and reopen it later, it would still be on the virtual desktop where you had it and not on the virtual desktop where you were. And that's of course annoying because you are missing a window and this fixes that. I can't test it because I don't have a Mac, but I'm pretty sure this will help people with Macs greatly. And then something I'm really excited about and that is the enhancement in the form of the Linux ARM64 build. Now for people that aren't aware there are more and more ARM laptops coming out and I think for this one see it was tested on the X13S and that laptop has a work time so that's standby work time of like 20 plus hours that's the whole benefit of ARM. At some point I need to replace my laptop and I'm highly considering getting an ARM so that I can just use that thing on the go so knowing that there's going to be a build for a Luxi which is going to be essential for me to use it day by day is for me great news. And then the last enhancement is updates for the Italian and Slovakian languages. Then we get to the fixed issues and the first one is missing refs for property text values. Now on its own it doesn't tell you a lot until you dive into it and then you will notice that it's related to Zotero and it means that when you have tags in Zotero they'll get sent over towards LogSeq. Next fixed issue is the incorrect delete key behavior. What that means is that it used to be and if you would type text and you would be on the last key and you wanted to try hit delete, that didn't work and it does work. Now let's do a quick demo on that one. So the example is like, for example, you have ABC here and if you did this and you use the delete, then the last one, the C couldn't get deleted because it said like last character and it wouldn't work out. So now it does work, which is great. Next fix issue is missing the default colors for the highlight mark tag. So if you look into LogSeq, you can highlight stuff with Control shift h on Windows. I'm not sure what it is on other systems, but so let's give an example. And I wanna highlight this, Control shift h and then you get this nice little highlight and the default color is fixed. So this was getting a wrong color if you didn't change the default settings. And we're already at the special thanks. So let's start with Desk 7 for the Italian translation. Kami Ichibu UA for adding the Linux ARM64 build support. Very much thanks from me for that one. Then we have Sun Wukong for updating the tutorial in Slovakian and Thief SDI for the updated docs and fixed end-to-end -end test command. That was the changelog for 10.9. See you in the next one and remember you're awesome. Keep it up.